So Val, today I'm looking for treasure. Treasure up at Mount Tennant, the Bush Ranger treasure. What do you know about it? Oh, well, I certainly uh, got a lot of information on it in my young days. Uh, it's a good thing to look for because well worth the trip. Um, from my uh, information when I was a kid, that uh, there's uh, treasure buried up there somewhere. What, what do you mean treasure buried? What sort of uh, treasure am I looking for? Gold? Am I looking for coins or, or something else? No, it's got to be uh, it's got to be uh, coins or something like that. Uh, uh, where this bush ranger used to rob the coaches, uh, he wasn't real successful, so I don't expect it's a real big quantity there. But uh, uh, I was told when I was a kid that there was there, and I spent. Spent time, much time looking at it, me and my mates. How, how much time would you look for it? So you go up for a walk, dig around in the in the scrub, what, just trying to find these coins? Well, you're just wandering around most of the time. And you didn't do any digging because that's too hard to work. I well, wasn't into that. Any tips of, of where I should look? Should I be looking in uh, under a particular tree or in, in a cave? Well, or? <laughs> There's too many trees to be a particular tree, Tim. Uh, you just uh, keep wandering. I, I reckon... Uh, we used to just look for places where he'd be likely to camp, which was out of the weather a bit. And there is some overhanging rocks and that sort of stuff up there. And uh, uh, that, that's the sort of place where I'd be starting from. I wouldn't go digging. I, uh, <laughs> Are you sure you haven't already found the treasure and you're just sort of, you know, coaxing me along to get me to go up there and look at it and you've well, got it hidden out the back room? Well, I, well, I, I wouldn't let anyone know if I, if I did find it. And if you find it, I think you better keep it to yourself and come and give me a bit of it. Uh, uh, well, well, if I don't find it, I'm going to come back here this afternoon and I'm going to come and, and rip up your floorboards looking for it. Well, you're not going to find it this today. Oh, no, no, don't to, tell me you're that. Gonna, no, no, you're no, going to no. have to spend a bit more time than that. All right. Well, <laughs> not, you've got to start somewhere. Not, get out there and explore. Well, you've got to start. That's yeah. what it means to get, yeah. get going. Uh, yeah, have a week up there. A week? <laughs> a week? Uh, that's good for you. Be good for you up and down the hill. All right. You don't go crossways. You, you miss it if you go crossways. Okay. You've got to go up and down because the track went up and down. The track's up the, up there to uh, the top of Tennant. And, uh, a week? No, no, uh, a couple of hours. So just have a look around to start with, and then yeah. if I get anywhere, I'm on the... A week? You, you're just... Uh, I think you've been a bit lazy. Oh. Yeah, young fella. <laughs> okay, I'll show you lazy. I'm going to head off, and I'll see what I can find. A young fella like you should just spend the able to spend a week straight, up and down the hill, up and down the hill, okay. eight, nine, ten hours a day. All right. If I bring, find any coins, I'll bring them back. And bring them back, and I'll... I'll buy a banana. I'll identify them. Okay, all right. Yeah. Now, when you go on any bushwalks or any longer bushwalks, uh, there's often a bushwalking register. So if something goes wrong, they can come and look for you. Here's the one here for Mount Tennant. You just uh, put in your uh, put in your name. So Tim the Yowie man. There's two of me. Well, there's myself and there's a person behind the camera, believe it or not. And I'll put in my phone number. I want to show you what that is. Yeah. Whoa. But look at this. Okay, so we're going to Mount Tennant for treasure. Treasure hunting. Fantastic. When we come back, we sign there to say we're back nice and safe. Let's go. No sign of any treasure yet, but look at this. Wombat poo. Now wombats, they like to do poo on the top of rocks. So when you're walking around, if you see poo like this on the top of a rock, it's a wombat. It means, look, I've done a poo here. This is my territory. Don't come near here. But another interesting thing about wombat poo is that they're like cubes. They're like little square pieces. Now I wonder, does that mean wombats have square bottoms? Who knows? Now you've probably heard of Ned Kelly, famous Australian bushranger. Well, did you know that the Canberra region has its very own bushranger? His name was John Tennant. Way back in the 1800s, in 1827, he did some dastardly deeds, was sent over as a convict to Australia, came to Canberra, one of the first stations, one of the first properties set up, stole some things down at that. That's actually now down near the National Museum of Australia. And he set off into the hills, the Brindabellas, to live the life of a bushranger. And he came here to what is now known as Mount Tennant, and apparently 
had his hideout on this hill. And it's this hill, Mount Tennant, where hopefully today we're going to find some treasure that he left behind. A bit more about the treasure in a minute, but look at this. Fresh water. If you have a hideout somewhere and you're going to hide in the bush for a while, you need water. Maybe his hideout's not far from here. Let's have a look. So what actual treasure are we looking for? Well, John Tennant, he used to steal things that he needed because this is way back in the early 1800s. He stole a lot of things like clothes and, and boots and things like that. But he also stole a couple of very, very valuable coins. Now they're called holy dollars. Holy because they have a hole in them. I'm gonna show you in a moment. I've cut a hole out of this pretend coin the colony of New South Wales didn't have enough money, so they imported all these coins from Spain, which weren't worth much, and they decided to make two coins out of them. They punched a hole, and that little bit in the middle of the coin was called the dump, and then the rest of the coin was called the holy dollar. About 10 years after they made them, the government took them all away, and only a few were left. And John Tennant actually got hold of some of those as part of his treasure, and it's thought that somewhere up here, Somewhere up here in his hideout are a couple of holy dollars worth millions of dollars if we can find them today. Let's hope we can. Well, we're about a third of the way up Mount Tennant already. Now, this would have been a great vantage spot for Bush Ranger Tennant to hang out because just down there on the flats, that was the main road south. So everyone driving down there, back in horses and carts in the old days, they would have been going past with lots of things, lots of um, treasure on their, on their carts, and the bush ranger tenant could sit up here, look out, ah, there's someone coming now, I can see them coming in the distance, run down the hill and say, hold up, give us all your treasure. And that's what tenant did. been looking everywhere for this treasure. Who knows where it is? We do know one thing for certain. Bush Ranger John Tennant did leave some treasure somewhere here on the side of Mount Tennant. But as I say, I've been looking in here, turning over almost every leaf, every stone. No luck yet. But that's a, that's a good reason to come back. You can get back out in the bush and explore and discover again. And there might be treasure at your own place, in your own back garden, at your own nature reserve, your own hill. Go out and have a look. You never know what sort of treasure you might find. I'm Tim the Yowie Man.